Now to a crime alert. Thieves are targeting a certain type of vehicle trying to get their hands on a pricey car part. WPTV's Cameron Eppinger explains who should be on high alert tonight. We're seeing a lot of these. Catalytic converter thefts are on the rise once again in Martin County. The city of Stewart, Incorporated Stewart, had seven in the last couple of days. We had one last night. This time, Sheriff William Snyder says thieves are targeting one vehicle in particular, Toyota Tundra pickup trucks. I was very upset because I had heard about it happening in the bigger cities, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and stuff like that. So I don't like when it's climbing up the White House lawn, you know what I'm saying? When it hits home. It's a crime Greg Michael of Port St. Lucie has witnessed firsthand with his 2006 model seen here. You could kind of see a, a pipe and then a missing and then a pipe. And I said, oh my Lord, that's what it was. Robert Gonzalez, a local auto repair shop owner, says not only do the trucks carry four times the amount of precious metals that thieves are after, they're also easily accessible. They're off the ground so they can just crawl under the vehicle and within two or three minutes or it's done. You know, they're, they're that good. They can, they can get in and get out. And to make matters worse, once it happens, victims like Gregory are left with a repair bill of up to $7,500. Sheriff Snyder says his advice for all drivers is to remain vigilant. One of our thefts and neighbors heard something, saw something, and didn't call the police. So if you see something, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, you hear something, please call us. In Martin County, I'm Kimberl Eppinger. But the Toyota Tundra is not the only make and model being targeted. According to research from Carfax.com, service records show Ford F-Series owners are most at risk in the South. The Honda Accord, Jeep Pilot, Chevy Silverado, and Ford Econoline round out the top five. According to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, catalytic converter thefts are still rising nationwide. And it can cost an owner upwards of $3,000 to get a new one. Develop